today I'm going to be making the biggest push pop of all time. Right here is what they have as their biggest push pop. Right here, it's called the Jumbo Push Pop. But I'm gonna put it to the test and make my own push pop. I'm thinking some, somewhere around like this size. I don't know if I can do it, but we're gonna attempt it. So right here we have the mold. We have to make the mold first. We're gonna make it out of this cup. This, this top part is gonna be the push pop part. And right here is going to be the bottom part. So that's what we're going to do. My sister Nan is here. She's actually filming this video. She's going to help us make the mold. So Nan's going to take it away from here. We have one shot of this. We have one minute um, to mix them together. So let's let's try to get this thing. What does it feel like? What does that stuff feel like? It feels like silly putty. I don't know why it's not coming out. There we go. Come on, Nan. Mold it. Have you ever taken ceramics, Nan? Um, I actually have. This Nan, are you a burrito? <laughs> I'm not a burrito. <laughs> Why? I'm a burrito! Say it, Nan. I'm a burrito. No, no, you gotta get under it. I know say what it. you always say. I'm, I'm a burrito. burrito! You gotta get under it. I'm a burrito. How about, dang it! Dang it. <laughs> Come on, Nan. This is like the most stressful. Come on, Nan. Just out of bed. You can do this. This better be a good push pop. It best. Now we just let it sit for 20 minutes. So now we're gonna get working on the candy. Um, I've never baked really ever in my life. All I really know how to bake is cookies, which I do the Pillsbury Doughboy. I love the Pillsbury Doughboy. He's the best. Uh, cookies, cinnamon rolls. Anyways, so I just cracked open these Jolly Ranchers. What we're going to do is we're going to separate the colors and we're going to melt them and get it really hot. So what I thought was we can make the push pop like different layers so it'll look like cool. So we'll, we'll do like a layer of blue, a layer of red, and like green, because you don't want to mix it all together because it'll just come out brown, I'm guessing, because if you mix all the colors together, it just won't look good. We got about three pounds of Jolly Ranchers right here, so this this might take a little bit. Wow. My mouth is literally watering right now. Like, I just want to eat all of these. Wow. 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 And they're all going to go into that thing right there. Right there. Is it getting hard? Can I poke it? Is it? I need a motivator. What's a motivator? Just help me sort these. Like what what do you mean a motivator? Like what help me go faster. Um, like play a song, like the eye of the tiger? Is that what you're talking about? Like I don't know what you mean by Nick, a motivator. Who listen, Nick, who listened to that song? Let me know. Like do you actually want me to like let you know? You know there's a lot of like watermelons and blues. Alright, now that I have sorted all of the Jolly Ranchers, there's a lot of them. I am now unraveling all of them gently, you know, how I do, and I'm putting them in a bowl so we can then melt them separately. I already have like seven of these candies today. It's really enough for me, but as I open each one of these, I'm craving more. I just want to like eat all these, like, like don't, don't, you, just, don't like... you just like crave this when you look at it? Do you? Yes, I'm craving I just want to... <sighs> Like all at once, I was like, Ow. can I just? Ow. So apparently that was a scam. They said it dry in 20 minutes. Ain't no drying in 20 minutes. It's it's it took like 20 million years. Okay, so we're just finishing up on these watermelons. That's soap. So had a little soap. So he probably wants to eat a Jolly Rancher, but this is not cat food. So Sophie, is this cat food? Sophie, this is Sophie. not cat food. <gasps> Sophie's like the craziest kitty ever. If Llama Bee was a cat, she would definitely get along with Lil Soap because they're both crazy. My mouth is literally watering so much because I see candy and I just want to eat it. Mmm, that's good stuff. So here we have the blue Jolly Ranchers. We're gonna test it. We're gonna melt them in the microwave and see what it does. Cause we've never done this, so we have no idea anything. Oh, I can't let the microwave beep. You know who I am. I got my Jolly Rancher. Oh wow. Mm. See, it is melting. That looks good. I just kind of want to just eat it like like cereals. It's not why why cereal it's like, is plural. Cereal. It looks like so good. Look, I just want to take a bite. Like, look. Look at that. Oh, it's cereals. It's just flown in the wind. 
Oh, that's good. Like, I kind of just want to eat it. I always just want to eat things. Like, look how beautiful that looks. That's a Jolly Rancher right there. Oh, uh, we're supposed to put it in the mold. Is the mold ready? No, it's not. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Okay, guys. So, the mold really did not work. Well, as you can tell, I'm in different clothes. It is now the next day. We decided to let the mold sit overnight in hopes that it would harden. But it turned out like this. So, we're not going to give up, though. Because mommy is no big. We're just going to pour it in this cup. And we're going to hope that it still works. So. Uh-oh, microwave beeped. Look at this, this looks amazing. It smells so good. I wish you guys were here to smell it because it smells absolutely amazing. Okay, now I'm gonna pour it. Watch this. Oh yeah. Well, this is very satisfying. That's some hot Jolly Rancher right there. Mm -hmm. It makes it all stringy. It kind of like cotton candy. You know how like cotton candy gets stringy? Let's go get your other one. 13. Alright, we're gonna stir this up real quick. <laughs> I think the green is ready to stir. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Look how beautiful. It would chunk. It's, it looks like slime. It really does. Doesn't it? Oh, yeah. It's good stuff. Let's see if I can make a heart. Ooh, that's steaming. Keep going, keep going, keep going. You gotta go uh -oh. all the way to the top, all the way to the top. Yeah, and it's gonna- More and more and more, I don't care. Over. That's enough. Okay, good. Put that baby in the freezer. Guys, I'm literally so excited because look how it turned out. Look how amazing this is. We took the cup off and now look at this. This is insane. Like, I, I can't believe I actually did this without the mold. I thought we needed the mold, but boom, pop. We cut off the cup and this is what happened. So the next step is to take this. This is a lid, okay? So I'm gonna take this. I'm going to try to melt some more Jolly Rancher. I'm gonna like use the Jolly Rancher as glue to stick it right here. So um, it'll be stuck there and it'll be like a push pop. I'll show you, hopefully that works. So let's do that right now. Little too hot. Amy Wall went in a little bit too hot. Take some of this, put it on. Right like that. Guys, this is really hot liquid. I'm just gonna let this dry now. The push pop has now dried, I think. And as it was drying, I made this little guy. Look at that. I'm not much of an artist, but I did that from scratch. I looked at the actual push pop to see like, okay, what does it look like? Oh, little jumbo push pop. Okay, bet. I got a massive push pop. I have my wrapper made. I'm going to gently tape it. It's gonna look like this. So beautiful, right? So I didn't have any um, actual tape, so I'm gonna take this electrical tape because it's all I have. I literally spent 25 minutes going around my house trying to find some tape. I did find this electrical tape, which I'm gonna use because, you know, it's still tape, so it, it's gotta work. If one thing fails, I find a way to do the next thing, you know? We didn't have a mold, but you know what happened? We still did that. We still did it, so never give up. Like this. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Amy, how is this gonna work? So this is what's gonna happen, okay? So I glued this with, um, with candy. I burnt my finger. My finger's literally throbbing right now. So, oh, that's really sticky. Look at a little something. So to save it, this is the push part. We're gonna put it in like that, so that's what it's gonna look like. The moment we've all been waiting for, the massive push pop is now completed. Well, almost. We're gonna do the honors. Putting the crown on. Yay! We did it! Llama, we did it! Now I've got my massive push pop. Should I try it? How does it look? We got a massive push pop. <laughs> Should I lick it? Mm. Oh my goodness, it tastes so good. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a big lick because it has five flavors, so it's gotta taste really good. Mmm. It actually tastes so good. I wonder how long it would take 
to make this into a candy weapon? How long do you think it would take? Leave a comment below. How long do you think it would take me to make this into a weapon? I'm thinking a good week or two. But I just want to do this. I just really want to compare how big is this compared to a small push or the jumbo push paw. Look at that. Just look at the comparison on this. Mmm. Mmm. This one is so much better. Mmm. That is some good stuff. I honestly cannot believe I actually did that. Alright guys, so that's about it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big like. And let me know, what else do you want to see me make super big? Like, I made this. What, what is next? Is it going to be a juicy drop pop? Is it going to be a baby bottle pop? Who knows? I'm so down to do anything. So just leave a comment. I love you all so much. Bye-bye.